it doesn't end for ubisoft it just doesn't end anytime i think that at least we're not gonna have anything more until the game they're going to try to be silent and just at least try to have some people forget about all the controversy all the stupid decisions all the disingenuous tactics every time that i think of that ubisoft does it again i genuinely didn't think that I would have to talk about Ubisoft so soon after my last video only a couple of days ago. This, ladies and gents, is the newest article from that park place, which basically explains another article that the, the, the executive producer for Ubisoft was interviewed about. The article is in the New York Times, which is absolutely very beautifully called the fight over a black samurai in assassin's creed shadows and what we're gonna talk about is mark alexis cote i do hope that i'm telling the name right who is the executive producer for assassin's creed shadows and he recently admitted that the company saying with assassin's creed shadows is to go beyond what is accepted truth now you can interpret what he said in a lot of ways the way i am interpreting it is that he says he admits actually that they did take some creative freedoms and are not entirely historically accurate with the game which is basically what everybody already knows to further explain what i mean this this person made an interview in the new york times to cry about and whine about the fans uh, backlash against the game it used the new york times to attack the fans to say that they want people to be passionate about history and what does that mean stay true to the well-documented moments and historical figures but not shying away from having a critical point of view and defying cliches to go beyond what is the accepted truth these cliches that he's talking about is basically the set in stone historical moments that they just don't feel comfortable in expressing and the most prominent one is yasuke being a samurai he was not documented as a samurai he was documented as a bodyguard as an oddity as something and someone that oda obunaga was very interested about making him bathe so to see if his skin is ju not just painted and ultimately making yasuke his bodyguard because he was a very tall very well built and strong uh person he did have some privileges he did have reportedly assault weapons and he could use those and he was trained however he was never indicted into the samurai order and before we continue i just want to point one thing out again and again assassin's creed from what i know because i have never been a absolute huge diehard fan of the games has had a lot of creative freedoms done in the past with all of its installments one thing that i can think clearly is when the protagonist of either assassin's creed 1 or 2 was fighting the pope also what i've read like ufos and mythical creatures and magic and so on those are stuff that are creative freedoms in a game, which is fine. It's absolutely fine. You're loosely telling a story with events that have happened in a historical period, but you're embellishing it with a lot of things that did not happen. And you're making creative freedoms with characters, with people, with your protagonist and so on, which is fine it's fine to have creative freedoms and to tell your story and to make it a little bit more interesting than just sticking straight to the story this is fine and assassin's creed and ubisoft never claimed that they're absolutely 100 percent historically accurate and as far as i know none of the protagonists have been historical figures now assassin's creed shadows comes along and you have yasuke who is a historical figure as the protagonist and he's presented as a samurai as a black samurai even though that has never happened and you get the outrage because this is a shift in the company's behavior and this is something that they're trying to present as actual history when they're confronted about this when they're confronted about the historical inaccuracies they say that they have experts that have said that this was historically accurate and it was checked Further investigation revealed that the historian in question, Thomas Lockley, is actually a fraud and he didn't and he wrote basically what's closest to a fantasy novel in order to sell his books and they were not in any way supported by actual facts and he was called out by a lot of people in 
including people from Japan, including other historians. And at this point, you would think that it would be very, very responsible from a company that is trying to present a AAA game and to have a game that will be very widely sold and played. That they say, okay, we were wrong. We are sorry. We want to tell this story, but our promoting of this game as historically accurate has been falsely presented and we're going to backtrack we just want to present you with a good game and that will have made things a hundred times better but no they just continue to do what they want to do whether or not they do want to do it or they're forced by investors by the check boxes that they have to tick that they have a list that comes from very much higher above and they have to include this and this and this and this and this and they have absolutely no choice in the matter and you will think that when you see that you're going to lose money and they are losing money as told in this article a little bit down further into it when stuttering craig was mentioned who is the owner and host of side scrolls podcast who shares an instant information from a retail source indicating that physical pre-orders for assassin's creed shadows are very low and by low assassin's creed shadow has had 800 pre-orders combined for xbox and ps5 company wide on a retail chain store that has 900 stores that would mean that they didn't, don't even have 100 percent orders for one copy in each of their stores can you imagine spending so much time and money on a game and having such a low interest in it because of the stupid decision that you have made and i know okay let us assume that they didn't have a choice they had to do it this way and they had to stick to their guns die on that hill etc etc when you see that this is failing this is not a good company decision wouldn't it be better to just pull out wink wink and cut your losses and do it better on your own because at the end of the day there is only one thing that you need to worry about exclusively and that's who's gonna buy and play your game because the people who vote with their wallets are the gamers are the people who are going to buy your game and the people who are going to play the game and they're gonna recommend it to other people potentially they're gonna review it they're gonna say if it's good or not and these days gamers youtube reviewers people ordinary people who review the games who take the time to play the entire game who spend their hard-earned money on buying your product these are the people that you must cater i have said that so many times throughout my last several videos and companies like this are just refusing to accept this truth because they have investors who have poured millions and millions of dollars and they have them buy the spiritual balls and they're saying you're gonna do what we want you to do. we don't care if you lose money we don't care if you lose your reputation because that's another thing that you're gonna lose a reputation and when you lose your reputation everything crumbles because stocks stock market investors they basically look at these things look at how the company is doing in popularity in money and when it doesn't work they start to become troubled and when they become troubled the stocks fall down currently ubisoft stocks is at 12.55 which is a bit higher than what it was uh, several days ago they were down to 11.22 euros so this is a bit of an uprising however something that i've shown in previous videos if we check 22nd of January 2021, 85.18 euro per stock, and now it's 1260. It's 82% down, which is abysmal. The article also explains how this executive uh, producer also got really triggered by something that Elon Musk wrote about the game, which is DEI kills art. And this is possibly the most proved statement that has ever existed for this year because DEI has killed a lot of art this year alone it killed Dustborn it killed Con Concord and I stick to my guns that both of these games could have been good in different circumstances Dustborn I'm not afraid to admit it has amazing graphics amazing art style and this art style could have been used into making something extremely good story-wise character-wise gameplay-wise not none of these things are good but the art is good concord could have been something much more interesting could have been much more appealing to gamers and they fucked that up i'm not gonna go through the rest of the article i'm pretty sure that you have seen a lot of videos going through it in whole what this video is about is that i'm 
becoming more and more furious when I'm reading these things because these are people who also have functioning brains and a lot more is at stake for them than is this for someone like me. And if I am someone who realizes right from the start that these decisions are bad for your company reputation because I see how gamers react, how people who are going to pull out their wallets, pull out their cards, go on the store and buy a game, think about your game and feel about your game, then imagine what's going to happen in the future. If you destroy your reputation, you will not have any chance to come back. I actually posted a few days ago on my Twitter account that this is a prime time to for someone to sweep in and basically buy Ubisoft because of the low stocks. And if, if someone does that, maybe they can turn the company around because apparently the current management does not. We also had the, the news article from a few days ago that there's possibly going to be something like a civil war that's going to be a coup in Ubisoft management with a lot of smaller investors that they're going to take the reins and they demand the firing of all senior staff. So you have problems that are there and they're internal and they're growing because you have a lot of money staked on these the success of these games star wars outlaws failed and a lot of people were are gonna lose money from that assassin's creed shadows will at best underperform massively at the sales and no matter if the gameplay is good no matter if the environment is good it will still underperform just because of how ubisoft treats all of these complaints and all of these very well constructed criticism points from a lot of people not just someone like me we have thousands of japanese people who were angry about the destruction of their heritage you have even more longtime fans of the franchise who are just skipping out on this and not buying not pre-ordering the game these are people who are have been with the franchise for over a decade and they have probably pre-ordered every single previous installment with the deluxe box and everything those are money that are being bled out because you're turning people away and that's the biggest mistake a game company can do and the best term that i can think of is of saying is people are voting with their wallets this is what happens and when people vote with their wallets and the voting activity is so low then that's what kills a company and i think i'm generally concerned because ubisoft is a company that at least used to be great and if it if it falls down then we don't we're just losing something that was once great to the modern audience to those dei practices those over the top bubble-headed people that don't accept any foreign opinion any criticism to what they're doing they're always right they always want to present their point of view and none of them is taking into account that the people you need to appease are not the 10 people in your friend list that think like you but the thousands and thousands and thousands of people who are going to buy the game it remains to also be seen what will happen until then with all the statements from ubisoft i expect that a lot of things will fall down and go down a lot sooner than the assassin's creed shadows release date but we'll just have to wait and see until then this is all i have for today thank you very much for watching up until this point tell me your opinions on the situation down below are you actually interested on in buying assassin's creed shadows or are you gonna skip it post your opinions down in the comments below follow me on my socials please like and subscribe to my channel to support me here and follow me on my patreon to help me raise money for homeless animals and animals in shelters thank you my name is Hyozo. this has been disgusting and i'll see you guys in the next video cheers and stay fresh.